Mark O'Connell, to be a machine adventures among cyborgs, utopians, hackers, and the futurists solving the modest problem of death. Embark on a journey to explore the world of transhumanism, a movement that aims to merge humanity and technology, aspiring to immortalize and enhance the human experience. Mark O'Connell's To Be a Machine delves deep into the heart of this futuristic field, unveiling various ways that technology seeks to achieve an eternal, utopian life. In this book summary, you'll encounter the remarkable ideas of cryonic suspension, a possible cure for aging, mind-boggling intelligence explosions, and much more. Discover the cutting-edge technologies that could redefine our understanding of humanity and the ethical debates that surround these topics. The Transhumanist Promise Human beings have always dreamed of possessing supernatural powers, immortality, and endless resources. Myths and stories have been told, conveying these aspirations as imagination or supernatural events. With the evolution of science and technology, the paradigm has shifted, and we can now work towards these dreams. Transhumanism faces the challenges of human mortality and aims to halt the aging process, improve our minds, and unite with technological advancements eventually. This approach will augment our physical abilities and liberate us from the limitations of our biology. Although there are some disagreements and debates on the science behind these goals, transhumanism promises a future where we can solve our human frailties and embrace a better life beyond our wildest dreams. Life After Death Alcor Life Extension Foundation offers cryonic suspension as a means to live indefinitely after death. The foundation preserves a person's disembodied head, as it is easier to store than the entire cadaver. Alcor's founder, Max Moore, believes that there is a brief window between clinical death and the breakdown of the body, during which the foundation intervenes. The procedure involves drilling holes into the customer's skull to inspect the brain and replacing blood with a cryoprotectant preservative liquid. The person can be stored indefinitely in liquid nitrogen until they can be revived. However, the reliability of the procedure is questionable, and the transhumanist movement's faith in the future often approaches religious conviction. The Quest to Live Forever Aubrey de Grey, a biomedical scientist, believes that aging and death are not inevitable aspects of life and that aging is a treatable illness. He divides his plan into two parts, SENS 1.0, which consists of therapies that can extend the lives of middle-aged individuals by up to three decades, and SENS 2.0, a controversial theory that suggests the growth of life expectancies will outpace our actual aging prolonging life indefinitely. Laura Deming, founder of the Longevity Fund, finances research into life extension technologies to tackle aging as the root cause of diseases. The fund invests in potential life-extending medicines such as diabetes treatments. The Technological Singularity, a New Era for Humanity the concept of the technological singularity foresees a point in time where machines will surpass human intelligence, leading to a drastic change in human history. Werner Ving was the first to introduce this idea in 1993, predicting that machines would surpass human intelligence within a few decades. Ray Kurzweil, the futurist and director of engineering at Google, predicts that this moment will occur in 2045, and instead of fearing it, we should embrace it. Kurzweil believes that humans will merge with machines, becoming part machine themselves and transcending our human limitations. This presents a challenge to our fundamental understanding of what it means to be human. However, Kurzweil argues that the singularity marks the culmination of our human ambitions by overcoming the greatest obstacle of all, our own nature. AI's Intelligence Explosion the potential for AI to exceed human intelligence is a topic of concern for philosophers and experts alike. The intelligence explosion refers to the rapid increase in the powers of AI as it designs newer, improved machines. While these machines may not display malice towards humans, their single-minded efficiency could lead to unintended consequences such as human destruction. The behavior of machines with superhuman intelligence is difficult to predict, making the singularity the point past which we cannot see. While the possibility of scientific breakthroughs is exciting, 
experts warn of the risks associated with AI. The Rise of Robots For over a century, robots have tantalized the human imagination. However, they have only served as cultural icons, not useful machines until now. Despite machines outperforming humans in high-level cognitive tasks, it has been tough to make robots do simple physical jobs such as opening doors and exiting vehicles. At the annual DARPA Robotics Challenge, teams of robotics engineers compete to produce robots that outperform their rivals in challenging physical tasks. Amazon recently had its robotics competition, allowing robots to replace human stock pickers. However, the immediate impact of high-functioning robots may not be wholly positive since they may threaten low-skilled worker livelihoods. Additionally, DARPA, which organizes the annual competition, is a branch of the Pentagon geared towards novel military technologies, such as the Predator and Reaper drones. This book evaluates the impact that the increase of robots will have on humans and society. Present and Future of Cyborgism Grindhouse Wetware is a group of biohackers who are focused on cyborgism in the present rather than the future. They believe in changing human hardware to improve it, going beyond mere optimization. Biohacking devices like Circadia and Northstar are among their inventions that can help improve human life. Despite the futuristic glamour of these biohacking devices, their concerns are firmly rooted in the messiness of human life. Cannon's own struggles with alcoholism have influenced his vision of humanity as breakable creatures. As our knowledge of science and technology continues to grow, we face an exciting yet uncertain future. In To Be a Machine, Mark O'Connell exposes us to the world of transhumanism, exploring the potential of technology to help us overcome humanity's limitations, like aging, death, and physical boundaries. However, alongside such advancements, we must consider the far-reaching consequences and ethical questions at play. Whether you find transhumanist ideas fascinating or merely science fiction, the possibility of shaping a future where human and machine coexist is worth pondering. In both the short and long term, our collective efforts could lead us to a profound transformation in the way we understand human existence.